in the car again. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm telling you, I just stopped at this international food store. It's sort of like, you know, uh, foods from, a, a lot of it's Hispanic, but there's foods from the Caribbean and everything. And they have all the cuts of meat. And uh, I found some incredible stuff that's almost 100% pure fat. The only thing that bugged me and I'm gonna have to do some more research on is the lard. I was gonna buy lard, but it said partially hydrogenated and I'm not sure if that's good for you or not. So I'm gonna have to do more research on that. But I'm all excited, gonna go home and then I still am in pursuit of my heavy whipping cream. So I do think I'm gonna have to go to Trader Joe's, which is about 25 minutes from here. Anyway. Onward, guys and gals. This is something I've never had in my life. These are hot pork rinds. I know I haven't lived yet until I've eaten pork rinds. But listen, 4.5 grams of fat per serving, which is like half an ounce. Not very much, but... 8 grams of fat, zero carbohydrates. So this, just looking in here, has all kinds of stuff, including caramel color. Nah, probably not so good. But I did get, let me show you here from this international store. I did get some that are totally natural that they make right there at the store. You know, the brand that comes in one of these bags that you know looks like whatever but it's uh, two dollars and eighty cents for all these pork rinds and they're just natural they don't have anything on them but the pork rind but this has some stuff it did say it had monosodium glutamate on here that's terrible right msg i don't know i'll have a couple just see how they are and you know it's stuff like this that you really can't eat too much, but it's so different from the, you know, therapeutic keto diet that it's like, it's enjoyable. I mean, I'll see here in a second. Let me try one while I'm on camera here. Very fluffy, airy. Mmm. It actually tastes so good. Oh man, finally a snack, huh? I have to find some that's a little cleaner without the MSG. Tastes kind of weird at the end there though. But man, just think, no carbs, lots of fat, low in protein. That's what I love. Hey, there's my neighbor. Man, it took me at least 15 minutes to figure out if I was getting too much protein or, you know, where I was with the measurements on the, on the pork rinds because um, they're, they're pretty high in protein content. They're a little, it's one of those foods that's the number of grams of protein and the number of grams of fat is pretty, pretty equal. Which I've said before, I, I don't really like because there's not, you know, you want something, I want something anyway that's um, more fat than protein because um, pro the fat part is the hard part to stock up on when you're eating. And protein's a really easy number to hit. It really is. I bought something at this international store. I'll show you just a little later in the video as I'm on my way to Trader Joe's. Um, that is 77 grams of fat and I think zero protein. And what it is, it's from Smithfield Farms who uh, I love their um, breakfast sausage, which is very 
a pretty high in fat. Um, it's like cut cuttings off the pork. I think on the back of the pig, there's like a ton of fat. And I think I'll have to look, read what this thing says. And these are like strips of pork fat, you know. And what I plan to do with that is, <clears throat> excuse me, is just add that to um, my the, the foods that I like. You know, you can add pork fat with um, chicken, with just about anything, with an egg. You know, if you wanted to, um, with any kind of meats, I suppose you could give it that sort of pork flavor to it. Sunset here in Naples. It's a beautiful time of day. So anyway, I'm gonna try that. Uh, there's one other product I bought. Let me take a sip of this. <clears throat> oh, I love that. That's my heavy whipping cream coffee with cinnamon and MCT oil. All right. It's like um pork belly, sort of like you make your own bacon, so it looks like a like a pork belly slab, only it's cut like an inch thick, like almost like bacon pieces, so what I plan to do with that is cut those in like cubes, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna, sorry I had to reach for my sunglasses there. Yeah, I'm gonna cut those in cubes and simmer them with the top on the pan and maybe throw some, I don't know, little slices of chicken. Oh, guess what I bought too at this international place? They have organ meat, right? So. Which is cool because it's really hard to find in like normal grocery stores. But these international stores, I mean, people from different countries, they eat a lot of that. I mean, they're they're eating the good stuff, right? Very condensed, rich, nutrient rich meats. So I got some chicken livers, yeah. And you know, you could like cook those up with um, this pork and I bet that turns out really well. So we'll do some experimenting around in the kitchen and I'll get back with you guys on that when I do it and tell you how it tastes you know pork rinds were a special treat today although I notice because they're so rich and fat you get tired of them really quick okay on the way to Trader Joe's uh, when I get there I'll be uh, I'll be videoing to get our heavy whipping cream Oh yeah, over here. Let's see. I need to go back by the dairy back there. You know what? The vibe, the vibe is good in here. Isn't it? I mean, you've been to Trader Joe's, right? Well, sorry. This is not a good thing. Empty. Oh well, the Trader Joe's lady told me that the truck will be in tomorrow. So, drive back home, I guess, right? Anyway. Uh, oh well, I just, I still love this place. <laughs> ah, look at the sunset here. At least that's one nice thing, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Trader Joe's. So I may be back tomorrow. We'll see what happens here. I'm back home now. I went to, unbelievably, went to three stores. Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, and Publix, a local grocery store here. Nobody had heavy whipping cream. So tomorrow coffee with butter.
see you then.